so I have to keep myself in order. I could put the blah 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 <laughs> Do it again Hey play cousins, welcome back to my channel Hey to the newcomers, new subscribers, welcome Um, we're about to do my skincare Which I have been avoiding Not doing to record this video Because I'm gonna double play my skin as you can see see it's a layer there that needs to come off but um dermal planing is usually done by estheticians dermatologists and it's usually like 100 150 dollars could run from two to five if i'm not mistaken i will insert clips but this can't afford that right now so I gotta do it myself mm -hmm. and I've been kind of lack on my skincare because of it it's 8 o'clock in the morning they already doing reno so anyway um yeah let's go ahead and get this skincare done this is one of my routines I actually have quite a few different ones to kind of keep my skin together my skin is oily so I try to find products that will work that will kind of keep my oil in check and you can definitely tell when I don't do my skincare the oil takes over and I bump which is the hyperpigmentation that I have over here so with that being said we're gonna go ahead um you're gonna have to excuse the shirt because if you are a top heavy girl the girls who know know you you can buy a large or extra large depending on who make it that don't mean it's gonna fit so it's pajamas <laughs> it's pajamas so I'm pretty sure that you're gonna see like subscribe over it because I ain't got time for my video to be messed with, being taken down, and all that other stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into our skincare. And welcome to Vlogtober. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. I have some ideas. I'm excited. Let's get into it. Let me stop. Let me stop yapping because y'all gonna be tired of me. So, we're going to clean with Clean and Clear Essential. This is the sensitive skin. I used to have the regular one but it started burning my t-zone so i had to get the sensitive skin and it works perfect um i use the neutrogena toner this i don't have a problem with this i actually like this um so far so good it's been even in my toning my skin no problem and we're using clean and clear this is the moisturizer i'm not gonna lie I like the Neutrogena turmeric one better. That one gives, that moisturizer gives my skin a glow. So once this is completely out, I'm just going to have to cough it up. Because it's very hard to find. I'm just going to have to cough it up and find um, and order it off Amazon and just pay the price. So let's get into it. Let's get started. Let's go. I used to use... Before I would put on my moisturizer, I would use the hyaluronic acid, but I'm kind of laying off that for now. For right now, it's expensive. The small bottle is basically $16, $17. Um, but I'm kind of laying off that for a while. So until I completely run out of my products to switch it up. But like I said, your skin can get used to your skincare, so I kind of switch it up, but kind of keep it on the same thing, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using to dermaplane. This, of course, is what you use to clear out your brows. Do not cut your brows, child, especially if you don't know what you're doing. I am not going to cut my brows, but I'm definitely going to make sure I scrub my face and razor my face. Um, I don't have to do it often. I actually just started doing it. I don't have to do it often all the time, but I can also tell like when the layer needs to come off, if that makes sense. Yeah. So we're going to be using that to scrape off the skin and 
we're gonna be using this exfoliator to clean it. I use mine on high to make sure I'm getting a good scrub. So let me go and get the washcloth that I'm gonna use them to wipe and clear stuff off. Oh, I turned because stuff was showing, but I'ma put, yeah. Anyway, when I edit. And then I'm gonna get my cotton ball so I can put my sun on after we scrub the face and I'm going to take my nose ring out. So give me a minute. I'm washed off, got my cotton. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. Let me over here. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean the face to me because, well, before we even do that, we're going to wash our hands. Your skin is delicate, honey. If anybody tries to tell you you're not delicate, tell them something wrong with their mama. So let's get into cleaning. Um, so I put it on my exfoliator first. Let it drain down in it. And then I put it on my face. So I make sure it is well covered and well saturated, my face that is, with the cleaner. Add a little red. I'm gonna move y'all to the side a little bit because I'm gonna hit y'all. Just a little bit. and pretty good well, what I usually do is actually run water over it again and then keep going for a couple of more minutes but since I'm demo cleaning we're gonna do sections at a time with the cleaner on it cuz I have now to me softening up my skin so when you're doing this you also have to make sure you're pulling your skin tight and as you can see it's the top layer is coming up. I 
Okay, let me get you a tissue so you can see. There. Alright, so it's the process. I'm not even going front. Do I prefer to have a professional do it? I do. But at this moment, sorry. Do I prefer a professional have to do it? I do. But at this moment, I have to be smart with my money. I actually prefer to be smart with my money all the time. So men usually get their derma clearing when they go to the barber shop and they have the razor on the side of them. I just wanted to show y'all. Course you have to be careful because you're around you're around your eyes so you have to be careful when you're doing that and around your eyebrows because yeah I want to cut their whole eyebrows off That is just some of it. That's not completely everything. So after I do that, I go back in and clean my skin again. 
I know it seems like a tedious process. But anything that you want to look good, feel good, you take care of. So we go back in, clean the hair. Because remember, I never rinsed off my soap by my exfoliator. So I go in and concentrate on sections at a time to make sure I'm giving it a nice good scrub in that particular section before I move on to another one. I'm going to stream longer than what I usually do because it's been a couple of days and I haven't really been doing my skincare every day. Like I said, I kind of waited so I can record this video. <laughs> and even this morning it was like, girl, get up, do your content, get it together. So. Alright, let's move to the next section. I also want to go back because I don't want it to dry in my face. So, I'm keeping it active. You have to do what Kate likes snippets from me and do what works best for me. I like hot. You can see that. When I am wiping off and doing the final wipe off, it just feels good to my skin. To me. Um, I see other people use coal, which is perfectly fine, especially if it works for your skin. Do not burn your hands. If it's 
do it to the heat that you can't stand. Don't sit there and burn your hands and be like, oh, I'm stuck. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> So how I know, for me, my skin is completely cleared off, there's no residue coming up. I'm going to soap out my nose because I'm done wiping, which is the last thing I do. So now the soap is off, I shake my toner. I don't know if that does anything. <laughs> it's just comfortable for me. So I shake my toner, saturate my cotton ball. skin now when you're dermaplaning of course because you have removed a layer of skin it is going to stain any other time when you're not dermaplaning it doesn't Okay, we have completely covered our skin with the toner. See that? And we let her dry in. So, I'm going to walk away for a minute and let her dry and then I'll come back. Okay, you guys, I am back. The toner is all dried in. As you can see, come on, shine and glow. The new skin is giving. Ooh. Come on, ring light. <laughs> all right, so now we add our moisturizer. As I said before, I use Neutrogena, the turmeric one. This is the turmeric one. Um, and I've used this one. I like the Neutrogena better. So once this is out, I'll be using that. But as of right now, Clean and Clear does what it's supposed to do by adding moisture back to my skin where cleaning, exfoliating doesn't dry me out. So we're going to do just little dots here and that. So I don't put a lot of moisturizer on because as I said before, my skin is oily. So it doesn't make sense for me to add more stuff back in there even though it says it's not oil based when i put a lot on there it kind of kind of reacts what i've done previous so i've just put enough on to moisten the top if that makes sense um it's a trial and error type situation which is a trial and error type situation for hair care your skin, all of that is trial and error. You have to find what works for you. But I've also watched other people and watched their videos to see how it works for them. Um, I learned about the hyaluronic acid from Tony Daly. I love her channel. Um, what else? Because she also has oily skin, but she does a whole different um, regimen for her skin than I do which is why I say you have to figure out what works for you um, but take snippets advice from other people I've learned about the Timmy mask I really love the Timmy detox mask they don't use it I've learned that from Tony Daly as well but I've also learned about it from um, Janaya Leah. I love her channel as well she um, put me on to that as well so, but the Timmy mask I use every week, they don't use 
as often as I do, my skin is more oily. So it works perfectly for me. <laughs> it is literally a godsend. It's a tad bit expensive, but worth it for me. Okay, so that is it. That is the dermaplaning, homemade dermaplaning, DIY, <laughs> DIY, DIY, yeah, DIY, <laughs> DIY dermaplaning. You do it yourself. So what we're about to do next? Oh, uh, let me give y'all the before and after turn. I don't even think I gave y'all a before, but I'll figure it out. So what we're about to do next is because I sweat in my hair, but I also still want to keep my braids because as you guys know, play cousins know, those who's visiting, you may not. I hate doing my hair. My hair is natural and I love my kinks and coils, but I don't like doing hair. Even when my hair was relaxed, I didn't like doing my hair. So what we're about to do is kind of because I sweat in my head really really bad you can see my grades I've had gray since I was nine so it doesn't bother me I diet <laughs> we're about to kind of clean off my scalp because regardless of even how spread out this is my head still doesn't get enough air so we're about to clean her out this is what we're about to do we're gonna run a cloth through it I don't want to wash it right now because like I said, I don't want to do my hair. So we're going to want to wash it off a little bit to kind of get the sweat product build up and kind of get, yeah, do that and get that out of it and then put some oil in her. I'm lying. I'm not doing the oil. I said I was going to put my coconut honey cream um, on her instead of using the oil this week. washing your hair because for some of us our hair don't stay like it frees up and baby it, it, it frizzes up frizzes it frizzes up and baby no no i paid over a hundred dollars no i'm trying to you know, <laughs> i'm trying to make this last thing i am so we used to take febreze and go through with a q-tip on our scalp and that was the cleaning of your scalp type situation. Girl, I sweat so bad in my head. It's crazy. All right, I'm gonna stop talking to y'all and speed up the rest. Cause I know y'all get tired of me talking.
we are completely done. Thank you so much for tuning in and doing, helping me clean my knotless braids and doing my DIY <laughs> dermal cleaning. This is how I take care of my skin. One of the methods of how I take care of my skin and how I'm taking care of these knotless braids, even though it's my first time. I'm feeling them um, a little bit. They're a little too long for me, but I prefer, I kind of prefer the ones with the knots. I actually prefer some of these twists, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, yeah, so you guys, um, that ends this video. <laughs> I love you the most because you're definitely the dopest in my life, and I will see you in the next one. Happy Blocktober.